I don't really know y'all. We need to book the appointment, okay? The appointment's booked. Y'all, okay, I actually... my channel this is gonna be my first time going to a natural hair salon aren't you a licensed cosmetologist baby they don't teach you what they really need to teach you in school case okay? i'm gonna surprise y'all on the salon i'm going to it's probably gonna be in the title as well but let's book the appointment it's booked it's booked the person that i have is diana diana it's either diana or diana i'm excited good morning it's actually the day of. I am so excited. Let's go get ready. Before we head to the salon, you guys, we have to try this jacket. So this is the jacket that came from Amazon. I did get it in a medium because I'm the type of girly. I like big jackets. So the pocket, they're here. These are just for show. At least we got pockets. So let's try this jacket and then I'm gonna see how it looks. It is a little loose up here, but let's look at it in the mirror. This is good. I feel like if this was tighter, it would look better. So I'm gonna make sure to link the jacket below because I ain't gonna lie. I feel like I'm pulling this off, but we gotta find the, sh the right shoes for it because that's gonna be the kicker because I'm not wearing sandals to the salon. Do we put these on? Y'all remember Sperry's? So these were the shoes I wanted to put on, but I don't know if they match for real. Actually, I think they do. And I think this is what we're gonna go with. All right, you guys, so I am headed out. Pulling up to the location, I was thoroughly surprised. The location was actually bigger than I thought it was gonna be. And it was so beautiful, so unique, and so organized inside. I love the orange chairs. As soon as I sat in my seat, y'all know I had to take my hair down. I was actually gonna see if they were gonna do it or if I was gonna have to do it based on the price. And as you see, I had to do it, but it was okay. The next thing after that is I head over to the shampoo bowl. I know y'all see my color. It's like, I'm gonna get it together, y'all, I promise. Um, I'm just experimenting with my hair and playing with it and bringing you guys along for the ride. As y'all see here, she is just shampooing my hair. So I believe she went in with the Joyco something. I'm not gonna lie, I don't know what she did. I just wanted to see what they were gonna do. I wanted to see if it was anything different from being at home. And I just wanted her to play in my hair and see, you know, it was an experience for myself like is this something i would actually like or actually come and do and the answer to that is actually no i'm glad i did experience it like for real for real like i paid my own money to do it we did a little stuff in school but it, it's nothing like actually just going to a salon actually it is it is so the shampoo part was not really my favorite part of this experience most of the time the shampoo is supposed to be the relaxing part but i didn't have a relaxing experience with the shampoo my hair did get clean so it is what it is All right, so here she is now detangling the shampoo into my hair. If y'all know me or I know I'm gonna make a video on my wash day, I actually do not detangle during the shampoo portion. I feel like if I'm going to detangle my hair, I'm going to do it during the conditioning portion just cause that's too much detangling on my hair. But here she was detangling my hair with the brush, but she was also scratching my scalp with the brush. And I'm gonna be honest, it was painful, but I thug through it because I'm a thug when it comes to this hair stuff. Okay. All right. So anyways, I did sit through it and it was okay for me, but she did a really good job. And I'm going to let you guys enjoy the detangle portion of this. <laughs> So then of course, once she's done with that second lather, she is now going to rinse all of that shampoo out of my hair. As y'all can see, my hair is clean. It is product free and clean, okay? So after she rinsed out all of that shampoo, she did put me under the steamer. This is my first time going under the steamer. So I'm actually, I was kind of surprised. Um, the water was dripping and everything, but yeah. And I'm just sitting here y'all for real, wiping all that water and enjoying my time, you know? And then once I'm done with that steamer, she is now just going to rinse my hair once again.
so now we are back to her chair so here i'm actually getting ready for her to do the blow drying process so she's just parting my hair and she has a rat tail comb she's just combing that you know parting my hair doing what she needs to do and she's gonna detangle again i'm so pretty y'all look at my hair it's growing but as y'all see we do need a trim because when i cut it i just cut it i wasn't really tripping because i knew eventually i would do a trim i wear my hair in styles and it never really bothered me and then of course you know she's clipping it up and everything so she's just sec sectioning my hair and detangling it and getting it ready for the blow drying process All right, so here she is doing the blow drying process. And I'm gonna be honest, I was thoroughly surprised at my length. This is one year of, this is not one year, it's probably a year and a half of hair growth. And honestly, I was really surprised at my length. I'm almost back to where I had it. It's just a matter of taking care of your hair and treating it like a plant, watering it every day, you know, tending to it when it's needed to be tended to. Especially I have color hair, so I already have to do a little bit more to my hair, which is perfect because I already like to do more to my hair anyways so it works out for me I will admit we did have two different viewpoints on my hair but honestly it's my hair so I'm gonna do with it what I would like to do with it you know I don't mind people giving me their advice and telling me hey this is what's going on yada 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 but ultimately I'm gonna make the final decision because it is my hair and that should be the same for you when you hear your stylist they tell you something always take it as advice this is coming from a stylist if I'm telling my client something i'm gonna say this is just my advice but do with it what you will i tell that to all my clients it's your hair you're gonna know your hair better than i'm going to know your hair regardless of me being in it i can see more than you can but you're gonna know your hair better than i'm gonna know your hair because your hair is what's inside you know what you eat you know what you do you know when you work out you know when you when you you know when you when you <laughs> i just say that to say when you go to your client when you go to your hairstylist and things like that that always just take what they say as advice and apply it to your life how you need to apply it to your life I just say that as a hairstylist and I've been doing my hair for a long time and a lot of people come to me and they ask me different questions and ask me for advice but I'm like y'all do understand the research that I have it's credible but y'all can still get that same research it's all about you finding what works for you you doing what works for you you doing the research and finding hey this is cool because with so many things on the market with so many things out there it's just like find what works for you and stick to it I know I'm a youtuber and I'll try different products and things like that for you guys especially if you want me to or if it's trending like of course I'm gonna try it like what's the hype about but then once you actually try something and you realize I'm going back to the basics because it's basic like we complicate things don't complicate it don't over complicate it it's really basic and then on top of that it is just hair. I know this is coming from a stylist and this is probably gonna give me so much hate, but it's just hair. Play with it, have fun with it, experiment with it. It's your hair. Be careful, of course, and understand that when you do this, that's, you know, when you do X, Y is gonna be your outcome, but have fun with it. It's your hair, express yourself with it. Go get those braids, go get that trim, go get that cut, go get that color, go do it. Express yourself with your hair because it's your hair. Do not limit yourself with your hair. This is just coming from me. And this is honestly with anything, don't limit yourself in life. Express yourself with the things that you do. Do not limit yourself. I'm a, I am can keep going on this rant, but it's just so important. And I, I just say that because I know when she was talking to me and I was listening to her and I was just like, Whoa. and I'm going to say this. I did learn from her that my hair is now high porosity. I totally forgot that when you color your hair, it literally changes your porosity because it opens up your cuticles. So I did learn that, you know, I got high porosity hair now. And that's another thing too. Your hair constantly changes. When you do stuff to your hair, you have to understand the changes that happen and everything like that. It was a pretty good experience and I probably will never go to a salon again i think i'm scarred from salons if i'm being honest with you because i've always done my hair i've always done my hair this is literally my first time going to a salon and i wasn't impressed um at all it was beautiful it was gorgeous but i wasn't impressed 
And to be honest, I am a hard, like it's, it is it is hard to impress me. If you feel like you need a little boost, you need a little help, they actually have a YouTube channel. I would actually recommend their YouTube channel or even their classes more than I would the salon. So y'all can definitely go check it out. It's called Flourish Curls. She does teach you um, some good stuff. So I would, I would rather you go check that out than go, you know, than come in person. But here she's just blow drying my hair or blowing my hair out, which I is still just blow drying my hair. And I actually like their little blow dryers. When I first saw her pull it out, I said, that is one fancy blow dryer. You hold it like in the middle. Do y'all understand how convenient that is as a stylist myself? When I have to use a blow dryer and you have to like angle yourself so that you can hold the blow dryer at the right proportion so you can blow dry the hair out, especially when you're doing your own hair. Do y'all understand how innovative that blow dryer actually is? I'm going to look into that. I'm not going to buy me when I have too many blow dryers, but that's a really nice blow dryer. And then the comb nozzle that's on it, I feel like that is super, super convenient, super, super convenient. But I'm going to let y'all enjoy the rest of this blowout process. So the next thing that she's doing, she is trimming it, of course. So she was saying that she was gonna try to trim off about two inches and I was like, oh, wait a minute. Wait, let's let's do one and we can get up to two maybe later, maybe even one and a half. And then I was thinking about it later. I was like, hmm, maybe I should have told her two inches, but then I realized it, no, let's start with one and I'm gonna trim my hair eventually again. I plan on blowing it out and flat ironing it and then I'm gonna trim it then. I'll probably take an inch off. I'll probably wait because I do wanna, I wanna a little bit of growth you know the ends probably were over processed and that's fine but my hair is uneven i wanted it to get to a certain length before i worried about trying to trim it when i wear it out it don't look like it's uneven for real so i just i don't really trip about that trims are important i'm not saying that they're not important you do want to avoid split ends but sometimes you when you playing with your hair sometimes it's, it's harder to avoid certain things so i actually applied her a lot of people complain when they go get their ends trimmed from the stylist the stylist cuts off too much no she actually cut off like she actually cut off half an inch but i think she went back over it so it ended up being an inch overall she did a good job shaping my hair out and i even had you know there were still shorter pieces in my hair but you can't even tell if there's anything that i loved out of this whole entire appointment that i would go back to her for is definitely the trim So yeah, I had pieces of hair that were shorter than the other ones and longer. Yeah, I just let her trim me about um, about an inch, half an inch off, and it turned out really, really good. But as you can see, I still do need a little bit more trimmed off, but I'm not gonna trip about it. As y'all see here, it's shaped, I like it. Look like a lion's mane. Y'all, why I look like a lion? Mm-mm-mm. All right, and now we are getting to the two strand twist or the flat, the two, the flat twist, the two strand flat twist. She's just going to put eight two strand flat twist in my hair. She's giving me a deep side part. I told her she could give me a middle part and she was like, she doesn't like that. And I'm so glad she stopped me from doing a middle part because the deep side part actually makes so much sense. So when she was doing, she did the twist and she was using, she used foam and and a cream I believe I honestly can't even remember I honestly was just here and just let her do 
you know what was needed to be done okay for the most part <laughs> okay yeah so she used a cream she went in with the cream and then she went in with the foam on top of it and then she twisted my hair so she's just putting the the twist in my hair she used a foam and some other stuff but i'm gonna let you guys go ahead and enjoy this process So once she finished putting all the twists in my hair, she is now just going to pin up those twists in the back. And then she's going to sit me under the dryer and I will show you guys the finished product in just a second. All right, y'all, and here is the finished product. I actually liked it. It was really cute. I like how the twist curved, and then they all went into like the little pinup in the back. It was really cute, and I'm glad I experienced it and got to go get my hair done from somebody. But again, will I go back to any salon? Not even them. Probably not. 
I'm gonna stick to doing my hair at home. So if y'all are looking for a new salon in the DFW area, they are located in Arlington. Y'all can go and check them out. They are called Flourish Curl Salon. Hey y'all, so we are back from the salon. Y'all, did y'all see my hair? It's so cute. And she did a little pin up in the back. If I had to rate my whole entire like experience, it was definitely mid. I don't wanna go into details because my reasons are mainly personal. And I don't wanna seem like I'm bashing a salon because I'm not. It's really, really great. If you guys do wanna know like an in my in-depth description and in-depth reason, just let me know. Just comment your questions. This style definitely makes my forehead pop, but hey, it's okay, it's okay. The style that I got is called First Time Client Moisture Heavy. So they have, um, you know, it says educational salon appointments, hands-on workshops, digital resources, and natural hair academy for stylists. And that's the only thing that drew me to them for real. But yes, that's pretty much it. I thank you guys so much for watching this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you like beauty content, hair and nails, makeup, and skincare, make sure to hit that subscribe button on the screen or down below. And we do DIY over here. I thank you so much for watching and I really hope to catch you in the next video. Stay unique.